the Royal Museum of Central Africa. For decades, generations of young Belgians visited this museum, which claimed to lead them through a discovery of Congo, Kinshasa. For over a century, this museum was a totem to the glory of the civilizing work of King Leopold II. It stood as a palace of colonial memory, frozen in time. A storehouse of souvenirs from a bygone era, where Belgium believed it was spreading civilization in Africa. A collective imagination developed around the museum, based on prejudices and cliches. In 2013, it closed its doors to begin the first major renovation in its history. More than a mere refurbishment of the building, the museum seeks to become the first colonial museum in the world to face its origins head on. To do so would take a spiritual revolution and a redeployment of its collections so as to resonate with the big debates of today. Will it manage to demolish these deeply rooted subconscious stereotypes? Will it uncover the ghosts of Congo's past? Will it be able at last to break down the taboos and recount the darkest pages of Congo's history? A museum on Africa and on the history of colonialism, certainly, but for whom? For what reason? And how? Available now on Video On Demand.